Customizing your Avada mobile menu is really important for making sure people have a great experience when they're using your site on a mobile device. So let's talk about the, the Avada mobile menu options, kind of what you can do with it and how everything works. And then you can make any changes that you see fit for your own website. So I have this example pulled up here. Um, we, we're using this toggle bar here. So if you click this, then there's a drop down, which I like just because it's really clean and simple. There is another version where you can just have a, a bar here that drops down. But when you have Avada installed on your website and you're logged in, if you just click, if you're on the front, if you hover over Avada and you click global options, then that's going to open up the Avada options page. And then there's a bar here on the left side. And if you click menu, then you can navigate to the mobile menu. So that's where we want to be. So this is the classic design I was talking about. You can play around with these. Um, but there's essentially different types of mobile menus that you can use, uh, here, and then you can display the search icon. So if we turn this on, I'll show you what this looks like here. So we can have this little search icon appear right here so that if somebody on a mobile device wants to search for something, then they can do that. Uh, I don't particularly like to have that feature on, but... <laughs> Uh, and then you can change the header color so we can see that this is white. So say on a mobile device you want the header color to be different, you can select that here. And then there's also the mobile archive header background. So this is any archive pages like blog archives, like blog category pages for instance. So I like to just have those set as the same. And then this is another big one, the, the mobile menu typography. So you can choose the font family, uh, the font font weight, so like how bolded the font is, the font size, the line height, so the space between the paragraphs, uh, letter spacing, the font color, and then the mobile menu um, hover color as well. So what I suggest is just pulling up a, a uh, your website in a browser and then make the browser really small so it looks like it's on a mobile device. And then you can start tweaking some of these settings and then save the settings like I did when I added this search icon. And then you can just refresh the page and see how this is actually showing up on your mobile menu. So I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything you have questions about in regards to the Avada mobile menu, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.